Eugen Karl Düring, the 12th of January 1833, Berlin, the 21st of September 1921, Nawaz in modern-day Potsdam, Babelsberg, was a German philosopher, positivist, economist, and socialist who was a strong critic of Marxism. Topic: Life and works. Düring was born in Berlin, Prussia. After a legal education he practiced at Berlin as a lawyer until 1859. A weakness of the eyes, ending in total blindness, occasioned his taking up the studies with which his name is now connected. In 1864, he became docent of the University of Berlin, but, in consequence of a quarrel with the professoriate, was deprived of his license to teach in 1874. Among his works are Kapital und Arbeit, 1865, Der Wert des Lebens, 1865, Naderliche Dialektik, 1865, Kritische Geschichte der Philosophie, von ihren Anfängen bis zur Gegenwart, 1869, Kritische Geschichte der Allgemeinen Prinzipien der Mechanik, 1872, one of his most successful successful works, Cursus der National und Sozialökonomie 1873, Cursus der Philosophie 1875, entitled in a later edition Wirklichkeitsphilosophie, Logik und Wissenschaftstheorie 1878, and der Ersatz der Religion durch Volkommeners 1883. He also published Die Judenfrage als Rassen, Sitten und Kulturfrage 1881, The Jewish Question as a Racial, Moral, and Cultural Question, and other antisemitic treatises. He published his autobiography in 1882 under the title Sash, Leben und Feind, the mention of feigned enemies is characteristic. During's philosophy claims to be emphatically the philosophy of reality. He is passionate in his denunciation of everything which, like mysticism, tries to veil reality. He is, in the words of historian Carlton J. H. Hayes, almost Lucretian in his anger against religion, which would withdraw the secret of the universe from our direct gaze. His substitute for religion is a doctrine in many points akin to Auguste Comte and Ludwig Andreas Feuerbach, the former of whom he resembles in his sentimentalism. During's economic views are said to derive largely from those of Friedrich List. On other matters, particularly their attitudes toward Jews, the two men held very different opinions. Topic. Thought During's opinions changed considerably after his first appearance as a writer. His earlier work, Naderliche Dialectik Natural Dialectics, is entirely in the spirit of critical philosophy. Later, in his later movement towards positivism, beginning with the publication of Kritische Geschichte der Philosophie, Critical History of Philosophy, he rejects Immanuel Kant's separation of phenomenon from noumenon and claims that our intellect is capable of grasping the whole reality. This adequacy of thought to things is because the universe contains but one reality, i.e. matter. It is to matter that we must look for the explanation both of conscious and of physical states. But matter is not, in his system, to be understood with the common meaning, but with a deeper sense as the substratum of all conscious and physical existence, and thus the laws of being are identified with the laws of thought. In this idealistic system During finds room for teleology. The end of nature, he holds, is the production of a race of conscious beings. From his belief in teleology he is not deterred by the enigma of pain. As a determined optimist, he asserts that pain exists to throw pleasure into conscious relief. In ethics, During follows Auguste Comte in making sympathy the foundation of morality. In political philosophy, he teaches an ethical communism and attacks the Spencer's principle of social Darwinism. In economics, he is best known by his vindication of the American writer H. C. Carey, who attracts him both by his theory of value, which suggests an ultimate harmony of the interests of capitalists and laborers, and also by his doctrine of national political economy, which advocates protection on the ground that the morals and culture of a people are promoted by having its whole system of industry complete within its own borders. His patriotism is fervent, but narrow and exclusive. He idolized Frederick the Great, and denounced Jews, Greeks, and the cosmopolitan Goethe. His writing has been characterized as clear and incisive. Though disfigured by arrogance and ill temper, failings which may be extenuated on the ground of his physical affliction. Topic. Legacy He is chiefly remembered among English speakers because of Engels' criticism of his views in anti-During, Herr Eugen During's revolution in science. 
Engels wrote his anti During in opposition to During's ideas, which had found some disciples among the German Social Democrats. He is also the most prominent representative of the socialism of that era attacked by Nietzsche in his later works. Most of During's work remains unavailable in English, aside from his work on the Jewish question. Heroic materialism characterized During's philosophy. He attacked capitalism, Marxism, and organized Christianity and Judaism. Many scholars believe that During's invention of a modern-sounding antisemitism helped persuade Theodore Herzl that Zionism was the only answer. Herzl acknowledged this over and over in his diaries and correspondence. I will fight antisemitism in the place it originated—in Germany and in Austria," he said in one letter. He identified the genealogy of modern, racist antisemitism in the writings of the German social scientist Dr. Eugen During in the 1890s. See also Friedrich List Topic Notes Topic References Kritische Geschichte der Allgemeinen Prinzipien der Mechanik Kritische Geschichte der Nationalökonomie und des Sozialismus Cursus der Philosophie als streng wissenschaftlicher Weltanschauung und Lebensgestaltung Mia Glossary of People, under the GFDL Encyclopedia of Marxism Creative Commons <laughs>